Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Let's Play. So, this one's kind of interesting. So, I was looking through my games, and I wanted to play a uh, PS4 slash PS5 game. And I was just, I was looking through, and I was looking through, and I'm like, no, nah, nothing of this seems good. I eventually decided on Sonic Frontiers, and I started up a Let's Play until I realized, uh, the cutscenes are unviewable when recording them, so I'm like, alright, well, we're not doing Sonic Frontiers then. Um, and then I was like, ooh, let me do a PS5 game, because here's the thing, this is for future, just what you might be seeing in the future. I've got Pac-Man World Repack, Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart that I can do Let's Plays on. Um... And all of them, like, you know, Miles Morales, I'll play it again eventually, but for right now, I'm not really in the mood. Nickelodeon Kart Races 3, oh boy, another racing game. Uh, Pac-Man World Repack, I'll play again eventually, and Rift Apart was freaking amazing, but I just finished it. I want to give myself a little bit of time. So I was looking through, I was looking through, and I'm like, you know, I've beaten Rayman Legends once. Like, six years ago, but I did it once. <laughs> And I'm like, ooh, that would make for a fun Let's Play. Because a lot of this game I've forgotten about. <laughs> like I said, six years ago. Especially the later levels, I don't remember anything from them. So, yeah, you know. This will be kind of an interesting Let's Play because uh, there might be a lot of times where it's possible I might fail the uh, level multiple times. Which will make for some excitement of me actually desperately trying to finish the level. <laughs> um, that also might extend the length of the let's play with anyway. Anyway, let's go, let's go, let's do it. Go on, let's do it. Let's play some Rayman Legends. One century. There's voice acting in this game? of yawning and snoring wildly. It seems that the heroes of the Glade of Dreams are under the effect of a mysterious snoozing power. Or well, my little ones just needed to take a big nap. <laughs> Meanwhile, the nightmares multiplied. They spread. They generated new demons, even more terrifying than before. The Glade of Dreams is in danger, my friend. Go! Quickly, wake up our legendary heroes! Well, I don't remember that, that, that cutscene. I don't remember that cutscene at all. I do remember this level though, because this was the demo level of, of uh, the Xbox 360 demo. I, I played this demo a lot. It was this and um, and the the Black Betty stage. Um, were just two levels that played a ton. Look, it's the song from the first game. Rayman! Can I use the R1 button to run? Oh, can I change that? No, I can't. Okay. It's right trigger to run, which is not really my preferred button, but it's fine. It's, it's better on the uh, on the PS5 than it is on the PS3 and PS4. The R buttons feel really nice. Anyway, I've played this stage a lot. This is a stage that I have played a ton. Like I said, it was in the demo, the demo stage. Um, I'm not gonna go for a hundred percent, but I will I will go for everything that I can. Um, yeah, I will I will try and go for everything that I can go for because um, I do want to unlock new characters. you know, I will be swapping characters a lot during this game. I will not be sticking as Rayman. I know some of you epic gamers are like, look, it's called Rayman Legends. What the heck? 
But let me tell you this, I'm not gonna be sticking with Rayman. Hey, uh, you know what will be annoying though? Freaking Murphy. <laughs> I do remember... Oh, I think there was something behind that spring. Um, there are levels that are just like Murphy exclusive levels. And they are really, really annoying. Um, I remember those levels. So... I'm kind of curious on what those levels are going to be like. Because those Murphy exclusive levels, yeah, they were... They were annoying. And we're going we're gonna to get to those. I remember them being some of my least favorite parts of the game whenever I was playing it on the Wii U um, and uh, PS Vita. And uh, I never had this game on PS4. No, I did. I, it was, I think it was a free game. Whenever I had PS Plus for a short amount of time, it was a free game. So I have played it on, on PlayStation 4 previously. Um, it is funny, though, playing this in a uh, multiplayer, because, uh, well, surely by now it has been uploaded, but, um, but playing with, uh, with Yash and Ram, it's so weird that everybody can control Murphy, <laughs> which makes it really annoying. Honestly, to, 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 well, it makes it, no, it makes it really fun. It makes it really fun. Honestly, the best way to play that game multiplayer is to kind of... Is to kind of have somebody be like, okay, I'm the re you know the re the uh, designated Murphy guy, where only I can press the Murphy switches because, you know, everybody tries to press it like thinking, oh, the other one's not going to press it. So then you've got like Murphy moving like three times and kills you. Whoa! All right then, all right then, chat, get that back over here. Uh. There you go. Yeah, this game's a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun with this game. Um, and on this profile, I don't actually have a, uh, uh, a set of trophies, so I'll be getting trophies, uh, I'll be getting new trophies with this, uh, with this playthrough. Um... If you're wondering why I've had this game on so many consoles... <laughs> so here's the deal. Um, I originally had this game on the Wii U. That was the first console that I owned it for. And I think it was a digital copy. Yes, yes it was. Years ago, I owned it on the Wii U. Years and years and years and years ago. Um, and... Um, that profile that I used on the Wii U, um, I think I lost the username and password for it. So, um, so, uh, what happened? Right? Yeah, yeah, I lost the username and password for it. Um, so, I then, uh, when, and then I got a PlayStation Vita. Um, from a friend. Uh, great, you know, great friend, by the way. He, I got it from him for a steal. It was like, uh, I think it was like 70 bucks with... It was 70 bucks for the Vita with Rayman Legends, which, that's actually really good. Especially given how, how pricey they are normally. Um, especially given that I sold it for 100 with no game, but anyway. Um, <laughs> um... But, yeah, when I used to have a Vita, I, I sold my Vita, um... You know, most of the consoles I, I sell, I actually feel bad about. I'm like, oh man, I, I shouldn't have sold that. I still don't feel bad about the Vita. I, I... It was fun for a short while, but then it got to a point where I never did anything on it. There's just not enough exclusives on that console for me to be like, yes, I want to play this. Because I was like, oh, what about Gravity Rush? Well, I already have that on PS4. Okay, well, what about Mod Nation Racers Road Trip? Well, I don't care about that game. What about Little Big Planet PS Vita? I never owned it. I mean, well, I did own it, but then I sold it because honestly, it's my least—it's one of my least favorite Little Big Planet games. Too much touching. I think that—that that was my main issue with Little Big Planet PS Vita is that it requires you to 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 use the touch screen so much to the point that it's kind of annoying. 
it asks you to like press both the uh, the front touch screen and the back touch screen, and that's just really annoying to do. Um. Hey. Um. But yeah, you know, so it's like, oh, well, what about uh? Um. See, and then that's the thing. I don't know what other games were exclusive. Um. You know, there, there's really, like, not a lot of games I know of that were actually exclusive. You know, the Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, released on PS3. Uh, PlayStation All-Stars, released on PS3. Like, there's just very few games that were actually exclusive to it, and very few of those exclusives that I actually cared about. I think the only game... The only game that was exclusive for a while was Persona 4 Golden. Uh, but then that got released on multiple consoles, so... I'm like, okay, well, there goes my Vita. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yeah, I had the Vita version for a while. Um, and then, when I sold that Vita, um, I bought the Xbox One version, because it was on sale. Um, yeah, whenever I, whenever I sold the Vita, I was like, well, what games do I have left to buy on... Oh, man, that was a double hit. I was like, what games, you know, what games are left? What, what, um, you know, I, I didn't have very many, uh, uh, like, uh, multi-platform games. Except for LEGO games. I had a ton of LEGO games on Vita, and a couple of them I still haven't bought yet. I still need to find myself a copy of, uh, of the LEGO movie and... What was the other one I own? LEGO Batman 3. Um, on 3DS. But, um, yeah, so basically... In terms of third, uh, third uh, platform games, this was pretty much the only one left. So, I bought it on the Xbox One. Uh, then, I sold my Xbox One, and yet again, I don't feel bad for it. Uh, the same exact issue with the Xbox One happened with the PS Vita. The Xbox One just doesn't have a lot of exclusives I really care for. Sunset Overdrive, I don't care about. Battletoads, I can get on PC. Um, what else is there? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Forza Horizon 4 and 5, or 3, 4, and 5. Uh, I'm good, I'll just play Forza Horizon 2 on Xbox 360, that's good enough for me. Uh, Gears of War, I don't care, I only really like the first Gears of War. Halo 5, no. H Halo Infinite, okay, that is actually interesting, but I don't really care a whole lot. Looks like a fun game, but... I'm not gonna, you know, keep a console for it. So, yeah, I sold my, um, my Xbox One. So then, I was like, alright, well, what games are left for that? Well, hey, wouldn't you know, Rayman Legends happens to be on sale on PS4. So, there we go. Ooh, okay, uh, sorry for that quick cut there. Um, some things arose and I had to cut the video off early. But we are back. This is Jab, 30 minutes from where he was a second ago from when you were watching it. Had to wait 30 minutes. Anyway, we're back in the game. Um, and, okay. I do want to play as Glowbox. And how we're going to go about it is this requires 60. Um... I'm trying to see, because I... Usually what ends up happening whenever I play Rayman Legends is I play as Rayman, and then I start to just play as all the Viking uh, characters, and then, well, that's it. Because <laughs> um, they get unlocked periodically. So, I'm going to try and... Um, I'll play as Glowbox. Let's see, that's two levels. Yeah, two levels of Rayman. I'm going to play as Glowbox for a little bit, um, and then I'll swap to uh, Barbella. Um, and I'm not going to play as the Teensies, because I don't really care. <laughs> um, here we go, Glowbox. Yeah, because, I mean, there, you know, there's different variants of Rayman. It's Glowbox time! It's freaking Glowbox. Yeah, for the Teensies, I mean, they're basically just, you know, they're basically just, uh, Toad clones. 
What was that? To enter camera mode. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're basically just, uh, just toads. You know. For the first Rayman, for Rayman Origins, they were just like, well... You know, we couldn't really find two more unique characters, so here's big two, you know, toad look-alikes. Because, you know, New Super Mario Bros. had two toads, so... Surely if we do two teensies, people won't mind. Okay, so... So it's that that and then that um but yeah um i forgot what i was talking about <laughs> beforehand but uh what i'm talking about now is yeah I'm, I'm actually pretty excited for this let's play this let's play is gonna be cool um i'm, I'm excited for it yeah i think there's yeah there's 10 teensies in each level and if I were to get all of them, then the next Viking character would be unlocked um, s soon. Ooh. Give me that. Thank you. Yeah, I think the problem is... And, I mean, it's a very slight problem. It's not really a problem at all. But they have too many characters, so it's kind of hard to, like, to evenly play as each one. And there's going to be some times where one one character is going to get more playtime than the other. But, you know, that's just the way of it. That's just the way things go. Yeah, so I'll play as Goldbox for this level and the next level. Um, and then I will unlock Barbella. Or Barbera, I think. Barbella is... Uh, is a character from Skylanders Imaginators. And possibly might be a reference to this, actually, since, you know, it's it's spelled very similar. Or Barbera might just be... Well, Hanna-Barbera. So you never know. This could this could all be a, a... This could be a collage of references right now. This could be a massive collage of references. So, um, I, you know, I love Rayman Legends a lot, but I still have a lot of appreciation for Rayman Origins. Because just like Rayman Legends, uh, I do have a lot of nostalgia for the demo. Um, and I do have Rayman Origins as well. I used to have, uh... Actually, no, uh, I have always had the Xbox 360 version. Um, I have never had the, the Wii version. I was gonna say I used to have the Wii version, but I don't think I've ever bought the Wii version before. Only 360 for that one. Yeah, because I think it's yeah, it's 60 for the next character. And it won't take me too long to get 60. Um, you see on the bottom right, that's... Um, that's scratch ticket stuff. And... Uh, oh, no. No, I think this is a Murphy-only level. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I love this level. Yeah, this is, um... Yeah, it's, uh, you know, a really fast level. No! You gotta be really fast with this one. Uh, note that I'm using the analog stick, which feels really freaking weird. I might actually change to the D-pad in right now. Okay, now we're using the D-pad. It's the D-pad feels a lot more natural for this game. Oh, I'm missing a lot of thingies right now. There you go. Yeah, that's like a speedrun level. Um, hey, I got enough of the scratch ticket. That's good. Oh, I got an achievement. Bar Barbera's free. Anna Barbera is free. There we go. Uh, yeah, keep the zero. So yeah, here's the, here's Barbera. 
And I'll play as Barbera for... Um, I don't know how many levels, actually. Um, how about this? Since she's a really big character in this game, I'll play as her until the end of this. Um, until the end of this world. And then I'll stop there. Now this, I think, is this another Murph is this a Murphy only level? I don't know which levels are Murphy only and which ones aren't. Cuz I know there are Murphy only levels in this game, but I just don't remember which ones are and which ones aren't. I mean, unless maybe I'm confusing it with a different version of the game, but I'm pretty sure this is the one I'm thinking of. Oh boy. No, I want that. And is there anything down here? Oh, I guess there's not. Um, if I if I remember right, actually, on the Wii U version, you could poke the, that creature in the eyes to make the eyes go down. But but I could be wrong. You know, you know what? Hey, hopefully I might be wrong. Hopefully I'm thinking about a different, uh, a different version of the game. Oh, there's the eyes. Ooh. Who knows? I know there's a level where you turn into a duck. That that were that is a Murphy only level. Um. Uh, one of the levels that me and Ram played, me, Ram, and Yash played, um, it was a level where you were having to, like, put a shield over fireballs. That level was Murphy only. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> so that level might be Murphy only, um, in this version. But hey, maybe I'm thinking about a different version. Maybe I'm thinking about a different game. You never know. Sorry, I had to sneeze there. Yeah. Let's see. Also, this music's really good. The music in this game's pretty good. There you go. Pretty much everything in this game is, is good. I gotta be honest. Like, even the difficulty. I think the difficulty is pretty balanced. For the most part. No! Yeah, I thought since, uh, since Barbera is in the, uh, the picture for the boss fight, I'll play as, uh, I'll play as her for this, uh, for the remainder of this, of this, uh, world, and then I'll swap to another character afterwards. Wow. Um... I probably have forgotten about this a few times. Ooh, this one's kind of tricky. There you go. Yeah, you, you had to uh, be holding L1 while also gliding at the same time. This one's a bit tricky. <laughs> I really thought I made that jump. There you go. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm trying to find this this last team. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, nice slide. I like sliding into the. Uh, I like sliding in general.
Well, we seem... Oh, cool, you've unlocked 20,000 lums under the sea. Cool! Well, it seems we have, um... We have gotten to, I think it's 20, 23 minutes, I think? Um, this is, you know, this is two videos rolling to one, so I don't really know the exact time. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my scratch tickets, and... Um... And then we'll be done. Yeah, so you, here's the scratch tickets. They're freaking cool. So we got monsters... Or a creature. Nope. Now what I want, what I want the most is a Back to Origins level, because that's a, that's a brand new level. Well, no, it's, it's a level from the previous game, but it's cool because... It's a brand new level for this game, and they just give it to you with these scratch, uh, things. But I seem to be getting very unlucky right now. I say that as I get up back to Orange's level. Or origi origins? Oranges. There we go. Alright, well, that'll be it for this episode, so see you in the next one.